let's talk about gated products. So as much as I say it's okay to sell absolutely anything on Amazon, and in theory it is, um, they have become tighter with restrictions with new sellers and new seller accounts. So for example, if your Amazon account is several years old and you've used it for the last 10 years, for example, you will have higher privileges than someone who's opened an account yesterday. Um, so they do this to protect their brand. So this is why I started out selling the likes of books and you know, workbooks, like teaching sort of aids, that kind of thing, and you know, food, because they were very easy, accessible markets to entry. And once they know that you're a good seller and your products are good, you've got good reviews, you're not keeping customers waiting, all that kind of thing, because let's be honest, Amazon is hot on customer service, that is what it's known for. Um, then you get basically a higher rating, and there's lots of stats and analytics that go with this, but that's the reason they do it. And then they will open up new markets to you. For example, you know, very lucrative ones are things like selling Nike. I don't think anybody's going to be able to access that market probably ever again, if I'm honest. Um, but certain brands protect their status much more heavily than other companies. And I think it's true to say that a lot of people who buy from Amazon don't realise that they're buying from individual sellers and not from Amazon as the company. Amazon is realistically a warehouse, a warehousing operation. They do sell some products direct, i.e. very high value lucrative ones usually or ones that they can see are, that are selling very well for the people um but generally speaking there's probably more um work more um, work and actual business going towards individual sellers such as myself and large and small organizations uh, who sell on there rather than amazon directly so there's lots of things to consider with that but basically they will gate these products i.e you will not be allowed access to them certain toy manufacturers such as hasbro you know mattel for barbie and places like that that are you know a very high quality high selling brand you, you will need to earn that privilege to be able to sell those products. That saying that, there's still plenty of products that are like at the bottom level, and that's why we start off selling those kinds of things and not other things. So don't be going out buying um, lots of stuff that you don't know if you can sell or not. So it's best to set yourself up with an Amazon account, uh, look at Amazon University and take it from there.